Extracting your own DNA. Seeing as this experiment involves putting something in your mouth, it's important to have adult supervision nearby. Concentrated salt water can be dangerous if swallowed, so you have to be extremely careful while conducting this experiment. You will need water, glasses, salt, isopropyl alcohol, dish soap, and a tablespoon measure. You will also need a toothpick. First, add one tablespoon of salt to a glass of water and mix to combine the two. Then add three tablespoons of salt water to a cup. Then gargle the salt water for a minute. Next, add three drops of dish soap to each glass. Swirl the glasses to mix in the soap without creating too many bubbles. Carefully pour your isopropyl alcohol into the solution. You're going to want to tilt the glass as you pour in order to form a layer. And in case you make a mess like I did, it's a good idea to have paper towel on hand. Let the solution sit for two and a half minutes. After two and a half minutes, you'll be able to see two distinct layers form. Take a toothpick and swirl where the layers meet. The white strands you pick up are your DNA. The results depend on the person and the amount of time the salt water was gurgled. So don't worry if your first attempt with this does not work out. When you gargled the salt water, some of your cheek cells became suspended in the solution. Later, the dish soap broke down the cell membranes on the cheek cells, causing the cell's DNA to be released. Finally, DNA and isopropyl alcohol do not mix, so the DNA became suspended between the layers of the alcohol and the salt solution. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to see more. Also be sure to check out my new Instagram account, stem underscore files. The link is in the description below.